to my channel. Today we are getting into the Josh Rosebrook Cacao Antioxidant Mask. And this is a purifying mask, now available at Ulta. That's where I picked it up. It does have cacao in it. And you will see it is a deep, dark, chocolatey color. And I'm gonna be trying it out today. I'm gonna to tell you what it's all about and let's get into it. So why why purifying masks? Why are they necessary? Why are they fun to use or good for your skin? For me personally, I don't always love clay masks because they can really dry out my skin and make it feel super tight and they're just not very pleasant to use. So I have kind of tried to discover different ways to kind of draw out the impurities in my skin and kind of get rid of excess sebum. So I've kind of been looking for a replacement for my Biologique Recherche Mask Vivant. Um, but I probably will go back to that one eventually because I haven't found a great replacement. But this one I have started to try. I've used it about three times and it's interesting, very interesting, to say the least. Um, I picked it up at Ulta because I was able to get 20% off. It is $70 for 1.5 ounces, 45 milliliters. Kind of a lot for a mask, but on the high-end luxury skincare world, it's not like the worst price ever. <laughs> but, you know, it's all relative. I think we all have to make good decisions about what we need in our skincare and what's kind of superfluous. So let's get into the directions, what's in here, and I'll let you know if you need it or not. I don't know. I'll just let you know what I think. So this has cacao fruit powder in it. So it, I think you should know that because it's not like chocolate chocolate. You know what I mean? It does have vinegar and different varieties of a whole bunch of different oils, fruit extract, all kinds of natural nature stuff. The ingredient list is really long. Basically, it's a purifying facial mask that works to detoxify and clear the skin through powerful phytonutrient dense plants and herbs. This is also an antioxidant mask, so if you experience a lot of pollution, sun damage, all that kind of stuff. This will be helpful. Rich cacao antioxidants support the skin's natural healing ability and potent plant oils help calm, nourish, and ma maintain hydration in the skin. So you want to apply evenly and let set up to 45 minutes. Rinse and towel dry skin. Then you want to rinse it off and towel dry. It says that your skin may appear reddish afterwards indicating an increase in circulation. So the Josh Rosebrooks, Rosebrook Skin and Hair Care uses only the finest organic certified ingredients delicately prepared in small batches. So this lasts 12 months. Oh, the ingredients continue on another side. I would really pay attention to the ingredients because there's a lot in here that depending on your sensitivity you may want to avoid. There is a little bit more information on Josh Rosebrook's website. I had no idea he does hair care as well. So this mask works to rejuvenate and purify skin through powerful antioxidant phytonutrient plant synergies. Rich cacao antioxidants help slow skin cell decline and assist, and assist in collagen production to increase elasticity and luminosity. Cacao stimulates and triggers circulation which assists in nutrient delivery supports the skin's natural healing ability. Potent plant oils support skin to calm, nourish, and maintain hydration. All skin types, including sensitive and dry, can use this. So the only thing that I haven't really seen since I've used it, but I would be worried about for some people, is if you get red really easily and this can increase redness. I'm not sure if it's gonna be great for your skin. But it does seem to have some positive reviews on Josh Rosebrook's site. It is very new on Ulta, so there's not any reviews on there yet. But it is $70 for this size. They do have a travel size on Josh Rose Rosebrook's website. Um, that one is 0.75 ounces and $40. 
I got this 20% off, which I was happy about. But, um, yeah, I mean, maps, you have to remember, you're not going to use them every day. So even though they're a little bit pricier usually, depending on how much you use, they can last you quite a long time. So let's try it on, yeah? I'm going to show you what the texture's like, how it spreads, what it... Just going to warn you, this is makes your skin dark, dark brown. So I'm going to dig in here with my finger. You can use a little spatula. I'll just note that around the edges it's kind of dried, which is not great, but I think you can see how it spreads, which is not great. <laughs> it's a thick mask that I find pretty difficult to spread, so to me it's not really the kind of mask that a little goes a long way. It's very, um, like, a little bit hard to spread. So up close, this is what it's like. It's a little bit like tar. There we go. No more horns. And a little bit like mud. I think the positive thing about it, it smells like a fruity deep chocolate, which... I'm sure a lot of you will appreciate if you love chocolate. Um, it's not quite the indulgent chocolate smell that you want to eat necessarily. <laughs> so it's not that intoxicating of a smell. Um, it does kind of smell different than I expected. I expected it to smell exactly like chocolate but not really. It kind of smells like a raspberry chocolate dark chocolate bar. Um, and the experience of putting it on is like not as pleasant because it's a little sticky. It's just a little bit harder to spread, but I mean, once it's on, it's on, right? Um, I think that, um, just want to point out, like, there's some mask you just want to layer on real thick. I don't really think that's necessary with this one. Like a thin layer is good enough. And it does dry down. It doesn't stay tacky. So that's, <laughs> this is what I look like. Um, so this is not like an Instagrammable mask. Not a mask that you necessarily want to take a bunch of photos in. Um, I'm, I'm putting myself out there putting this on for you guys. <laughs> Um, but that is the texture. I think you can see, like, I'll also know, like, when it is dry, you're going to get, like, little flakes when you rub it, like little brown, you know, pieces rubbing off. So it's a really interesting mask, and it doesn't, like, feel like clay, where that kind of but it's sort of similar effect in that once it starts drying you start to feel a little bit of a tightening and a little bit of action going on underneath here so i don't know that it necessarily feels calming it's kind of an interesting mask because some some masks when you rinse it off oh your skin feels refreshed smoother hydrated you know your skin feels you know just looks shinier or just more clear, but with this mask, I feel like I don't notice a whole lot of difference to my skin right away, but I feel like it does purify it and that I don't break out as much. So that's good. I mean, I, I think this is probably a, a mask that in terms of antioxidant benefits, you have to keep using and you won't realize the real benefits until you finish it up probably. And you need to use it regularly. Like any uh, antioxidant, you have to incorporate into your routine regularly to get the benefits. The other thing I'll say though, even though it's not easy to spread, it does seem like it's a pretty organic mask and that there's not like a lot of extra frills or special scents or it doesn't feel like it's like trying to be like super fancy. Um, so it feels kind of homemade in that sense. 
And I mean that in like in the best way. I think what's also interesting is that you can leave this on up to 45 minutes, which seems like a kind of a long time. Even though this isn't like an active mask, it's not exfoliating your skin, I do feel like it's not like a benign mask where it doesn't do anything. So if you feel like kind of irritated or a little bit too warm after a little while before 45 minutes are up, I would rinse it off. But I have left it on 45 minutes. I didn't really notice my skin being that much more red. So that was good. I was a little bit worried about that. I will show you what my skin looks like after I rinse it off. Just using it, this is now my fourth time. I'm feeling some tingling here right now. A little bit of irritation. I think it's a little bit too much for my skin and then I probably need something a little gentler for my face. Um, I, you know, I enjoy a purifying mask for sure. I think those do help. But it's a little, there's kind of a lot going on with this one and I can feel a little irritation right now. There are essential oils as well, like orange, lavender, rosemary, candula. Does that really benefit my skin? I'm not really sure. Um, you know, just the experience from using it a few times. I'm not sure I would really repurchase it because it's not as pleasant to use as I thought it would be. And while it may have longer term benefits, I don't feel a lot of like short term benefits after using the mask. Like when I rinse it off, like I was saying, I didn't really notice much of a difference or any like immediate gratification. It wasn't like I felt hydrated or smoothed or exfoliated or super clear like it just my skin felt almost the same as it did before I put on the mask which I found to be f very interesting like some clay masks like I generally feel like cleaner but not with this one <laughs> I know that sounds kind of picky in particular but this is not a cheap mask. This is, you know, a good amount of money and I want it to be a little bit better <laughs> for what I spent. So I probably wouldn't do this again. I'll keep using that though because I have it and I don't wanna, you know, I have a good amount of product left. Um, I'm just not going to wait the full 45 minutes. Anyways, if you're wondering like about Josh Rosebrook's brand in general, like why would I pick up this random brand? And this random mask not just because of the cocoa but there I've tried mask with a cocoa in it and so I wanted to find a replacement <laughs> that's why I picked it up but Josh Rosebrook I heard about from Caroline Hirons and I have the mist that she really loves from him and apologies that you can't see this this is his famous Hydrating Accelerator Moisturizing Facial Mist. This is fairly expensive, like the, the whole brand's up there in price. So would I, would I buy this again? Probably not because mists aren't like a major part of my routine, but I did want to try it and I do feel like this mist over other mists that I have is, a, is actually hydrating. It's not just water. <laughs> Like I can feel the hydration on my skin when I use this. So I do think it's very good. It has like aloe as the first ingredient. Um, it has a whole bunch of things in there. Lots of naturals and extracts. I really enjoy it. Actually, maybe I should spray this on right now. Maybe my skin will feel better. I definitely feel refreshed. This mask is still bone dry, so. I kind of, I can feel it in the areas that I don't have the mask. But this is a really good mask. You get a good amount of moisture. Um, if you believe in mist, some people don't use them. I totally get it if you don't. Um, it does smell like lavender though, which I don't love. But it's pretty hydrating in my opinion. It doesn't last like on your skin. I mean, it is a mist. <laughs> um, if 
you believe in them, you believe in them. But I think that's kind of why he's famous, because of Caroline Hirons recommending him so much. Um, I love that he's available at Ulta. I hope, you know, that he continues to be there. Um, I don't know how many people buy his stuff on Ulta. There's only, like, so many products that have reviews. Some of them are online only. So we'll see. I mean, he's got a whole skincare range and he's got actually a lot more products on his website, which I had no idea about. So, you know, I'm curious. He has a polish and purify set and it looks like he has some smaller sizes of things. So that's kind of nice if you just want to try a few things out. He has a starter kit, an essential method kit. Very interesting. I'm really curious about the hair care, to be honest. Conditioner, okay. For balanced oily hair, anti-frizz. Looks like he's got some different hair care products for different hair types. That's actually kind of cool. I mean, I'm curious. I'm always into different skincare brands, what they have to offer, what makes them different. I will say the packaging on here is pretty nice. It's pretty weighty jar. It's not like a light plastic. And the spray on this is really good. I mean, it's a fairly simple spray bottle. You know, pretty straightforward, but you know, it works and it's nice. So, I mean, I just want you guys to be aware of these different brands that are out there, what they have to offer. You know, these kind of masks are sort of trendy and very like Instagrammable, except for this one I wouldn't say is very media friendly. <laughs> Um, so don't attack me for this, but you know, it's very natural. Like it looks like mud, right? But it's not really a mud mask. So anyways, I will be back and I'll show you what my face looks like after I wash this off. So I washed off the mask and my face is red for sure. Um, I guess I didn't notice it before when I <laughs> rinsed it off. Um, but I do think this time, for whatever reason, I did feel a little bit more irritation, and I'm not sure why that is. I did use retinol last night. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just really sensitive right now. No idea. But, <laughs> um, just wanted to show you what my face looks like after using it. Yeah, it doesn't feel a little... It doesn't necessarily feel tight. It doesn't feel, I mean, it feels smooth, but it doesn't feel like smoother than it did before or more hydrated or more calm, obviously. I think the redness, it does say that can happen. It says increased circulation. I don't really know. Um, I think, I don't know. I don't know a lot of antioxidant masks that have this effect. I mean, comment below if you do know other masks that create some redness as well. I know redness is a problem for me, so that's probably the main reason I, I it's one of the reasons I wouldn't pick this up again. I think the main one is the cost, but I don't like how hard it is to spread and how absolutely dry it gets. Like I get it's a purifying mask, but because it's not made of clay, it's almost even more drying. It's kind of strange. And I mean, the immediate result you get is redness and not really much else. So it's hard to like be excited to use this. I mean, it kind of smells like food, I suppose. So maybe you'll like it. I don't know, this is just how my skin reacts. I'm gonna try a little bit of this mist. See what happens. But yeah, I mean, it's it's an interesting mask. I will also say, I was, as I was washing my face, I was reminded of how messy this is. So when you often wear a mask, sometimes you like take it down here and as you're, you know, wetting your face and rubbing it off, you know, it can get kind of down your neck, some water and stuff. So if you're wearing like a robe or pajamas or something, 
you're going to get this brown <laughs> residue coming onto your clothes possibly. So it's fairly messy. Um, you just want you to be aware of that little detail. Um, I have definitely like brown around the collar of my white robe, which is really unattractive. Um, so yeah, just be aware. You might have to wash whatever you're wearing after you use that. But I will say, you know, I think there's something to say about the organic ingredients here, the natural ingredients. I could have done without the essential oils, but I don't, I get the feeling there's not a lot of extras in here. And while I would have probably preferred some extras that made the spreadability a little bit better. I do think this is a fairly natural mask. So if that is something you're really interested in, this might be a brand you want to check out. I just don't know that this is worth $70 for this mask. It, it's a pretty penny for something you're not going to use super regularly. It does say you can use this one one to two times a week I would definitely keep it at one time at least at first until you know how your skin reacts but I I think it's interesting there's so many masks out there they did these days it's kind of crazy um, but this is a choice that's out there so let me know if you guys are interested if you've tried this mask if you tried anything from Josh Rosebrook please let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.